Welcome to The Morning Touch. I'm Dalton Campbell. The Morning Touch is brought to you by Samaritan Touch Homeless Services, where we meet the homeless right where they are. You know, it's a great day today. A wonderful time to be alive. It reminds me of my days in the Navy where we used to go up topside and we'd look for miles and miles, north, east, west, and south, and we see nothing but a just like sitting on a blue plate as we moved through the water. For miles, there was nothing. And you'd stand there looking across the waves and you'd say, I wonder what they're doing in the east. I wonder what they're doing to the west. And the sun would come up and you'd see it travel across the sky to the opposite side and set in the west and again you come up topside as the sun was setting and you would say I wonder who's going to bed right now and I wonder who's getting up right now you know it's a lot like life I think of what Job said in Job 14 verses 1 through 6 and we're going to spend a couple of days on it I'll do something on it tomorrow for Freedom Friday but right now I want to focus on Verses 1 through 6. Here's what the Bible says. A man born of woman is of a few days full of trouble. He springs up like a flower and withers away. Like a fleeting shadow, he does not endure. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Will you bring him before your judgment? Who can bring what is pure from the impure. No one. Listen to what else Job wrote. Man's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months and have set the limits of which he cannot exceed. So look away from him and let him alone till he has put in his time like a hired man. The wisdom from Job travels thousands of miles across time and reaches us and touches us in 2024. On the morning touch, our job as pastors and ministers is to simply put you in touch with not only your mortality, but to put you in touch with your eternity. Job does a great job of reminding us that none of us will live forever on this earth. Life is but a few days made of many troubles and many challenges. And all of us have walked through trials, tribulations, and challenges. The question that we ask today in part one is what are you doing with these days? Job has noted that the days on this planet are limited. None of us want to stop long enough to think about it, but it is a fact. Man's days are determined. God has decreed the number of months and years that we will live and there is nothing that we can do to bargain it to extend it to exceed it we must understand that the time that we have been given is the time that we have been given what are you doing with these days you know when we're born, babies are so special, so perfect. They're probably at the height of their spiritual maturity. You say, well, that doesn't make sense. When you look at a child coming into the world, he does not know right. He does not know wrong. Sin has not yet polluted his soul. He is at the height of his existence. Even though he is not at the height of his intellect, he is in a very good position 
as a young baby. Fresh, new, full of hope, full of promise, full of optimism of where he or she can go and what he or she can be. That only changes when the influences of the world impact that child. Let me say that again. That only changes when the world and its influences impact that child. That child can be influenced by right or that child can be influenced by what is wrong. Unfortunately, more are influenced by what is wrong than right. That begs the question, what are you doing with these days? Because it does not take Satan or life long to present you with struggles, to bring about pain and anxiety and fear and anger. It does not take long for us to be consumed by uncertainty. And that uncertainty makes us weak. It, 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 it fills us with fear and doubt. The temptations of life come and they wear on us and they wear us down. They don't build us up. How do you prepare for those ways and those days? When we know that man born of woman is a few days full of trouble, springing up like a flower, but soon withering away under the pressures and the struggles and the uncertainties and temptations. My friends, we need to be encouraged by the gospel. The gospel is the good news that gives us hope. And the only ones in a position to speak to our hearts about the gospel that brings us hope and peace and joy are those who are utilizing the days properly with focus. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And you no longer have to worry. Bring those burdens to Jesus and the stress, the uncertainty, the struggles, the pain, the anxiety, and the fear melt away. We no longer have to wonder. It is imperative, child of God. Understanding Job's words that nothing is promised. Success is not etched in stone for anyone. There are no silver spoons, no free lunches, no golden ladles. Man is putting in his time on this earth for better or for worse. Why not consider what it takes to walk through this life for better and not for worse? What are you doing with these days? What are you doing in your preparation? Are you preparing for the best and to be your best or have you folded and decided to be one of the worst the morning touch is brought to you by Samaritan Touch Homeless Services we meet the homeless right where they are our goal is to spend time on this earth utilizing God's time righteously in a holy way being a light and an example, Matthew 5, 16. What are you doing with your days? Are you just putting in time? Like Job said, till he has put in his time like a hired man. Are you just doing time, working for the wages that sin are going to pay? The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The Bible says in Romans 6, 23. What are you doing with these days? Are you trying to get better and let the word of God and the influence of Jesus make you better? Or are you just putting in time, waiting for the death angel to pick you up? Those are things I want you to think about today as we wind down. God is good all the time. 
He's giving you an opportunity above ground to take maximum effect of the opportunities presented for you to make your life better. We've all been babies. We've been at our height. Maybe not our intellectual height, but we've been at our spiritual height. And everything goes down from there. The only way to get back to level is to trust Jesus and to have a relationship with God. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. What are you doing with these days? Job makes it clear. Many people are wasting their time like the hired hand waiting for the clock to run out. Don't be one of those. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. See you again next time. God bless you. We're praying for you on the morning touch. Take care.